Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on the video. Please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you always get notified every time I do a new upload. So today I have macaroni and cheese and then smoked sausage with potatoes and carrots and onions. Now this is actually a leftover from a pot roast that I made and then I just threw in um, the smoked sausage and then I put uh, pinto beans in it. Just like a can of pinto beans. I don't know what I'm going to title the video with just because since this has so much, this is just a random meal that I made, you know. This has like carrots, beans, and potatoes, onion. I'm not sure what to title it. But that's what everything that I have. I thought about putting some cheese in this, but I need to lay off the cheese because I keep eating cheese. I can't help it. But um, this video hopefully won't be too long. Mainly because my phone is dying. My fiance knew I was going to do a video tonight. And he just, he was on my phone the whole time I was cooking. And ran the battery down. So. He did it on purpose. Oh, well, there's also celery in this. There's a piece right there. This is really good, though. The macaroni and cheese is like, it's just the uh, cheap, great value macaroni they have at Walmart. I think it was like 50 cents, maybe 58 cents. And then I added some uh, double cheese um, sauce in a can, which that was only a dollar. So it actually tastes really good. It was the first time me trying that cheese in the uh, jar. And it's really good. If I had a pepper, a jalapeno pepper that's pickled, it would be so good in this. Or even some hot sauce. Sadly, I can't have any of that. Try that macaroni. Is it good? I barely put any of that cheese in there and it's really good. My fiance is over there. This is really, if you want to make like a more of a homemade macaroni and cheese, you could just buy that double cheese sauce in the jar and a thing of regular noodles and make really yummy tasting homemade mac and cheese because you know homemade and the ones in the box they taste totally different you don't hear anything loud it's my fiance checking the wood stove So, in my last video, I talked about how I was going to get a background and a ring light from my phone case. That was loud. From my fiance's sister for Christmas. I don't even think they saw anything. I can't tell though because I can't. Okay, they probably saw that. Anyways, um,. She bought me that for Christmas, but I've talked in previous videos about how his family is and his sister is, and she she will just use you 
until there's nothing left. And then when you have nothing left, then she's mean <laughs> and a psychopath. And so she did it again to me. And I, of course, you know, asked me over again. I'm not even going to go into this story unless y'all really want to know. Then I'll just do a story time on it or something. How my fiance's sister keeps messing me over in life. Um, anyways, uh, but I'm just going to go. I actually ordered my background today. It's really pretty. So when it comes in, I'll do an unboxing of it. I'm really excited about it. And then tomorrow, I'm going to get me a ring light at Walmart. But yeah, she's not going to give me that stuff, so... She actually gave me back the Christmas present I bought for her son. And I thought that was kind of stupid. I got him a stuffed dog, a stuffed teddy bear dog, and it came with a book. And she gave it back to me. If y'all hear that whining, it's my daughter. Austin's feeding her, but she's very impatient. I don't know how long this video is. Hopefully I can finish before the phone cuts off. I got my, um, my Camry. I got the key program today. And I was afraid that it still wasn't going to start. Just because I feel like bad things happen to me a lot, more than normal people. So I just expected it to still not start. And it runs. So I'm super happy and thankful that... My Camry is good now. Austin's supposed to try to drive it home from the dealership tomorrow when he gets off work. Austin's over there making faces at me. Ah! I'm getting really full. This macaroni and cheese is filling. I put, it's like really cheesy. I didn't even put that much cheese in it. I think I put like that much cheese in it from the jar. Oh, Austin's supposed to do a challenge video. He's supposed to film it tomorrow. And then I'll probably have it up either this coming up weekend or maybe next week. But it should be coming up because he was challenged by MRTV. Our dog ate one of the ingredients that goes in it. So we have to get more of that. But we've also just been really busy. So, But we're going to buy, it was, I believe she ate cookies. That was supposed to go in it. I think this is going to be my last bite. I'm almost done anyways. But I'm pretty full. And I don't want the camera to shut off. I 
If y'all thought the food looked good, please leave me a comment below. Or say whatever you want. I always check every comment. I always reply to every comment. Or at least I try to. I know I always read every single one. And I'll heart it. Hmm? Except when the videos are old, sometimes she gets behind I mean, I do get behind, but I always try to catch up. But anyways, I hope everybody enjoyed the video. I want to thank everybody that comes back and watches my videos and supports me and supports my fiance. I really appreciate it. And I always try to, you know, the people that have YouTube channels, I always try to watch y'all's videos. I know sometimes it may take me a little while to get to your video, but I will always watch your videos. And I always watch videos fully, too. So... That being said, I hope everybody has a great night or day, whatever time it is where you're at, and I hope to see everyone in the next one. Bye, guys.